If you like short and interesting stories, here is one. Imagine the beginning of Earth in two parallel universes. Let's call them A and B, right? So they started approximately the same time. The evolution happened in the same way. And people learned about fire, agriculture, and making of tools to cut down the trees or break the stones in the same time frame. But one fine day, in both the Earths, in both the universes, one machine appeared which can cut down the trees, break the stones without any supervision or intervention of humans. And this is the place both universes start to diverge. Let's talk about Universe A. In that universe, people were so skeptical about seeing those machines. They realized that they are doing their job and they don't have anything else to do. So this particular thought process spreads across the earth and it leads to a chaos. And I don't have to tell you what was the outcome of the chaos. In all probability, it will be worse today than it was at that point of time. On the contrary, let's look at Universe B. In Universe B, when people saw that they now have machines to do the things which they used to do, they realized that they are saving lots of time and they can use that time to build something new. We as a human beings, as living beings, have consciousness. We have creativity. So people in the universe we decided to use their creativity to create new, new things, new cities, new infrastructure, new canal system, new sewage system, new type of vehicles, flying machines, and many other things. And while doing that, they made sure that they built automated machines to be their companions so that they can do the things which they are now expert at and they can move forward to do something else. And that civilization is inching towards being a type 1 civilization. By now, I believe you got a gist of it, what I'm trying to talk right now. We are at the same state right now. With the advent of AI and AI doing things which we as a software developers used to do, we are at the same state where we can become X or Y. And as far as I understand, as far as I am concerned, as far as my understanding of other human beings are concerned, we all want to go to the direction of B, universe B. Now, let me tell you why we should look into being of type B and why it is important. Because we have a unique gift with us. We have consciousness. We have creativity. Okay, it is not directly based on data, right? Though it can influence, but we can create things which are previously unknown. Something not possible for this generative AIs to do. They learn from the data. If data is not there, they are not going to learn from it. That's the reality. Now, let me show you a very simple graph. In this particular graph, you can see the line on the left side is quite high and the right side is quite low. So what does this line represents? If you do something for the first time or in the beginning or in the beginning phase of doing something, you have to apply lots and lots of brain power, your cognitive skills, your creative skills, your consciousness to come up with something. And if we keep on doing some things again and again over a period of time, the amount of brain that needs to be applied is less and less. Anything for that matter. Imagine the situation where we didn't have tools to cut down the trees. Initially, when human beings tried to come up with some kind of tools or try to understand the fire, they had to apply lots of brain power. But when it becomes a norm, they didn't need to. They can cut the trees without thinking about it anyway, right? This graph represents the same. When you do something in the beginning, you have to use higher cognitive and creative skills, higher amount of brain. And while you're going down towards the right side, you'll have to use less and less amount of brains. And there is no harm, let me repeat, no harm in letting AIs do that particular things. In the terms of software, let me talk about, you know, testing some modules. What are the test cases we are going to write? Some of the well-known are like whether, you know, exceptions are being handled or not, divide by zero is handled or not, or if buffer overflow is checked or not, or all the parameters are checked or not. These are the things we are doing for more than 40, 50 years. We don't need to apply our brain to do that. 
right? We can ask AI to do that and it will do it in a better way because we are doing it for 40, 50 years and it can learn from it and maybe not do the obvious mistakes which we may be prone to. And we should use our time, the time that is being saved by AI writing those test cases to do something else where our brain power is required, our cognitive skills are required, our consciousness is required. This is the only way we will go towards the direction of universe B. And this is not something which is happening only in the software industry. Everything we did, everything we do will go through this where when the things become so common, so normal, we can create automated machines to look into it, right? We have automated machines for, you know, washing clothes, washing utensils, you know, cleaning your floor. Right? We used to do that earlier and now we know everything about it. So somebody else is doing it by learning from what we did based on our consciousness, based on our cognitive skills, which a machine cannot do because they are not conscious. They don't have cognitive power. They have data power. They can derive everything based out of data, but not based out of their cognitive skills. Imagine creating a new programming language. The AI will not be able to write code on that. Even if it can write, it will write the way, you know, other programming language codes are written, not using the constructs of that particular new programming language till we write lots and lots of code which can help the AI to learn from it. So, to go to a B universe direction, we need to always move towards the work which will require lots and lots of brain and there are hell lot of things to do because we are not even a type 1 civilization as of now and we have a long way to go and we cannot progress till whatever we did now can be handled in a safe and sound way by someone. So do, while doing software development if we keep on spending time in nitty gritty things which can be handled by someone else we will not be able to move forward. Consider this an opportunity to move forward, okay? I do hope and believe that this video was helpful to all of you. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.